Hello there! We hope that you're very excited because Epic Games just made an announcement that could be the most exciting thing that happens, well, this summer at least. They announced that this picture is the next free game. Doesn't mean the next free game is Vault Hunters or Fallout or probably not. What this means is that the Vault Mystery Games are going to start as an event. Now, we've been doing this a while, Mikhail. So we know this is actually the one of the two biggest events of the year from Epic. We're gonna get four games for free. Hmm. One of them could be even trilogy, so possibly more, but at least four bigger, perhaps AAA games. And this is the fifth time that we've had the Vault event. So at this point, I think we know kind yeah. of what to yeah. expect and we've been doing this a long time so subscribe stay tuned because we'll make sure not only that you don't miss any great free games which we do all year around but we're going to have a lot of fun guessing about the clues but first a little bit of history a little bit the vault game started in 2020 and the four big games that were free that year were gta 5 civilization 6 borderlands the handsome collection two games and then Ark Survival evolved. Big, big year. Let's be clear, nothing can beat that. Yeah. Not even Christmas. It's not going to be as big as that ever. But let's see what we got last year. We got Dead Stranding. Nice. That was definitely the biggest game, mm -hmm. but it was already repeat because six months before that we got it from Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Then we got Fallout New Vegas which is a triple A game, but at that time when we got it, it was already like super old, yeah. classic. Yeah. Midnight Goes On, let's say it's double A mm -hmm, perhaps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Payday 2, very yeah. popular game. Multiplayer only, yeah. but quite new at that point. Yeah, that So was each year we're getting at least one multiplayer game. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, we didn't get a 2K game this it's year. True. But we'll get to that later. Yeah. First, I would like to explain how it works. Mm -hmm. Each week, we're gonna get uh, one week before these clues, and we're gonna guess on base of those going to be like symbols, like nine symbols. Some of them are gonna be correct. Three of them are correct. Mm -hmm. and Others are incorrect. Those three will open the vault, and so when we see all nine symbols before the day that the vault opens, yeah. which is every Thursday. You can see, for example, this one was the payday two. Right, right. So we have to guess not only which symbols are the correct ones, but what game those symbols are indicating. And these clues will be on the social media on mm -hmm. Epic. It, the first one has not been released yet. It's going to be in a few days, probably like one, two days. But once the game, once the event really gets started, then as soon as they announce next week's mystery game, they usually announce the clues pretty quickly. And we have lots of fun on our live stream with thousands of viewers often, all putting in their gaming knowledge to help guess the game. So. If you know a lot about video games, you should join us and maybe you can be the one to make the correct guess. And let's go now to what is possible. Yeah, because lots of guesses. People are always hoping for Red Dead Redemption 2 or I don't know, the biggest, newest Skull and Bones, the, big, the newest AAA game yeah. that's out there. Not everything is possible. But except last year, we got each time a 2K game. Mm -hmm. We got... Bioshock uh, so, trilogy, some Borderland games. All of the Borderlands. Yeah, we've, we've gotten so many 2K games for free. XCOM, XCOM 2. XCOM, um, Civilization 6. Yeah. yeah. Already Fallout, so many games. Fallout 1 and 2. Yeah. So there's not many of them left, actually. <laughs> not on Epic, but even mm. if it's not listed on Epic. Right. If it's not listed on Epic, it's still equally possible that it could be free because actually for the first two years, all of the free games were not on Epic before they were free. And they arrived in the store, they were free for a week, and then for sale after that. So don't tell us in the comments, please, that our predictions yeah. don't make sense because it's not on Epic yet. At this point, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Because so, XCOM to uh, the sequel is not listed, mm -hmm. it can be. Yeah. The XCOM 2 was not listed al until it was free. Yeah, yeah. Another publisher that recently has been very popular with the free games is Bethesda as a publisher. Uh, several Fallout games have been free. Ghostwire Tokyo has been free. The Evil Within 1 and 2 have been free. Um, Elder Scrolls Online. 
Elder Scrolls Online, Dishonored 1, Ghostwire, Wolfenstein. So, about hey, Predge. Hey, to almost all of those. I, like, more than half of yeah. the games that are currently on Epic came as free games. And so it... Like, a Bethesda game in the vault is quite possible. Like Deathloop. Deathloop. Another Wolfenstein game. Dishonored 2. Maybe. Maybe. Un Wi-Fi Rush. Less likely, but maybe a Skyrim. Red Redfall. Maybe Skyrim. Why Skyrim? No. Less likely. Skyrim is re-releasing, like, every two years, making lots of money. The no. least likely. More I think likely. Not. Okay, Caleb thinks yes. I think definitely Least not. likely. Like, okay. it's, I it's, think the only other score we can ever get is it's online, online again. Which we already got. Oh, yeah. So, but Red Redfall, yeah. you might not be as excited about but it, but quite possible. Talking about the games we'll definitely not get. Yeah. Sony. Why, Caleb? Well, even though... Like, we're talking about games that were exclusive to the PlayStation, and even though they've come to the PC now, uh, none of them have ever been free. So all the big franchises, Uncharted, Horizon, Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us, Spider-Man, God of War, Days Gone, that's pretty much everything. Um, they, they just, it's not 100% impossible, but it's never happened. Sony wants to sell their games, so don't expect any of those games to be free. A lot, we know that a lot of you guys expect like Ghost of Tsushima, that was just released on Epic, so 200% impossible. Let's, re let's remember that the most internet breaking game that was in the vault, GTA 5, was free after it had been released for seven years, yeah. and still, Epic Games had to pay twenty million dollars. It was the it. most expensive game yeah. that Epic ever paid for. I don't think yeah. there's gonna do it yeah. anymore. And a similar and situation. Yeah, from software. This not only it is listed on Epic Games, which we already talked about. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not the reason, but I have not seen anywhere like not a humble bundle not a uh, prime gaming these no. games don't go free no these you need from you software them, sells you go and pay for them they sell it which is possible that if epic is listing it then there's going to be a big mega sale this is from last year so mm -hmm. it says may 19 but we know it's going to start on may 16th yeah this time until june 13th this yes. time i think yeah, yeah and yeah. what is it caleb the mega sale means not only that things will be on big sales but there will also be a coupon now in the pet we've had all different types of coupons sometimes 30 40 50 percent off yeah um sometimes you can use it as many times as you want during the sale sometimes you can only use it once um, usually there is a certain price minimum, like you have to buy at least $15. Yeah, $15. And then you can use the coupon to take 10, 20, 30% off of the entire basket uh, in on top of the sale that was already there. So this is like double sale. Which means it's going to be even cheaper than on Steam because on Steam there's going to be same sale mm -hmm. but no coupon. Yeah, so we'll right. get better prices on those. And something that Epic uh, did like... Uh, it's quite quite new, only like started a year ago. That is the cashback. So the right. more you buy, the more you accumulate these cashbacks. Yeah. But these cashbacks work a little bit differently because I think you get them b money back like in three weeks. It's in it's in a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So usually it's 5%. <laughs> Often during these events, they make it 10%. Mm, so we could yeah. be having games 50, 60, 70% off. Then you put it in your basket, you take 25, 30% yeah. off with the coupon and you get five or 10% of that back in cash back that you can use later. So the amazing thing about these sales is that Epic Games is still ready to lose money to get people to buy on their store. And that's a great opportunity that will not last forever because at some point yeah. they will have to start making money. So take advantage of these opportunities while you can. Of course, we will keep you informed. We'll make videos about the best sales once it is released, but look out for it. Save your money now for the next week. And just for example, these games we said, it's not going to go for free, but will be on biggest sale. Yeah. Uh, if you want like Horizon on Uncharted, it's gonna be at least sixty percent. At least sixty percent. Then the coupon, more. then cash back. Yeah. yeah. So there will be yeah. big sales. And we actually already have our prediction of me and you mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, talking about the games that we think might be in those vault hidden there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. go watch that video next. And make sure you stay with us and tell your friends about this channel and about this event because friends do not let friends miss free games. We'll see you soon. See you. Bye. Bye.